Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. How are ya? Um, I have a new to me vendor. Super excited to try this out, you guys. So, um, her name is Kelly Green, but the name of her shop is called Heavenly Apothecary, and it's named after her daughter. And first of all, that's super sweet. Um, and second of all, so she reached out to me and asked if she could send me some wax um, to try out. Um, so I have the box here. So my mailman, huh, my mailman put the key for the lockbox in the wrong mail slot. So my neighbor knocked on my door a couple, this has been sitting in the box. This has been sitting in the mailbox for a little while. Um, and my neighbor came over and she said, Hey, um, I got a key and it's for your packages and I didn't want to like touch them or anything. So just to let you know, your stuff is still in the lockbox down the street. So I had to walk down there and grab it. Um, it's whatever, but um, I don't know if you guys remember my Scentsy, the, um, the red globe debacle, you know, I got scammed on Scentsy Marketplace and, um, so I found another one <laughs> and apparently I, uh, it was sitting in the mailbox, but I didn't get a key and then, yeah. It, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's insane. So, okay, you guys, um, let's just get to it. I'm excited to smell this stuff. I know that, um, yeah, I'm excited to smell this. So let's, um, let's get to it, shall we? know the dealio what am I drinking water drinking water um, I've been reading fast like a girl and you um, she has you doing your fasts based on your hormone cycles and yada 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 so right now um, I have lost about 10 pounds doing doing this so that's exciting um, and right now I'm in the 12 to 15 hour, um, fasting. I have like one more day of that and then I can get into, um, the longer fast, which I'm actually really enjoying. So anyways, water trying to be good. Um, we have a party to go to on Friday and then Saturday I'm working at the winery and then next week, Mike and I will be in Disneyland. We are doing the Food and Wine Festival. Huh. I'm so excited. Um, what am I wearing? Well, I'm not wearing anything. I know, shocking. Um, it's just been busy. I have so much. I have all this filming to do. And then I have editing to do. And then I got to get it up or post it or planned or whatever so okay you guys so here's the box um like i said it's heavenly apothecary i'm super excited to see what's in this box um i thought i had i got the bottom part unlocked but not the top part um so she is a small business she's i don't know how, i think she's just starting out but I'm super happy to help support and, you know, be a test dummy or, you know, help people with their wax. Come on, Stephanie. Be smarter than the box. 
Okay, super cute. Okay, that's so cute, you guys. Look at that. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, does she have red curly hair? Oh, my youngest has red curly hair. I'm a sucker for red curly hair. Okay, so cute little little doodly dude. So she's got um, handmade candle care instructions. So trimming your wick. So she's got this in here. She's got her card creator of bath, body, and home fragrance. Find us on Instagram and Facebook at heavenlyapothecary.com. Get my big old finger out the way. And then um, she's got her Etsy shop. She's got a TikTok and she's got Instagram. So um, she is actually um, helping her father out who is ailing and, um, just to be there to take care of him and, um, getting back into wax, wax. I guess she had, um, she was making wax before and took a step back and now she's back in it. So I am excited. Um, a card that says, thank you for your order. And then um, wax melt instructions, break off one to two wax cubes from the package, depending on the size of your warmer. Um, if you have an electrical warmer, switch it on. If you have a tea light warmer, light the candle. Do not leave your wax warmer unattended. Keep wax cubes and warmer out of the reach of pets and children. Very cool. Okay, so that she's got front and back instructions and then oh look at that that's super cute super super cute okay let's see here thank you card okay so the box sent to you would be an example of one of my mystery or sampler boxes so that's what that is. Thank you, Steph. I'm shooting for March 1st, 2024 as the tentative date for my website opening. In the meantime, I will list a few items in my Etsy shop for practice and to fine tune the shipping process. Kelly. So, so fun. You guys, how cute is that? So this would be a um, mystery box or sampler box. Stick your nose in my business. Yes, ma'am, I think I will. Oh, wow. These, there's a lot in here, you guys. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, so look at that. Super cute. All right, you guys. Nothing to it but to do it. Let's do it. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to pull what scares me. Lavender root beer float. So root beer soda and lavender coconut milk. She does have the pour date, poured 2-10-24. And look, it's a Mickey head. And these are thick. These are pretty freaking thick. Um, you could probably get like three. I would chop off the ear, the ear. You could probably get four. Ear, ear, and then half of, half of Mickey's head. Okay, nervous. Nervous. Very root beery. Yeah. I wow. Kelly. Lavender coconut milk. I'm picking up a little bit of the lavender coconut milk, but what I am absolutely smelling is this root beer soda. But it reminds me of those root beer barrel candies. I don't know if you guys remember those. I enjoy those. I love root beer. I'm um, burning the reindeer reindeer beer from Kringle Candle. I am burning that in my living room in the mornings. And I love it. I love root beer. And I like this. I do pick up the lavender. And I'm glad... Like right now, this is a lavender 
It's not a sweet lavender, but because it's not so crazy heavy, I can handle it. And I can appreciate that the lavender and the coconut milk is in here because I think if it wasn't, it would be too much. Or people would assume, people would think it was, for me, I'm okay with this root beer soda. This is strong. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. And I'm loving this Mickey head shape. I mean, I might be a fan. Okay, next is Roadhouse Rolls. So hot, freshly baked bread. Oh, I didn't, did I show you this? Okay, there's that. There's that, okay. Um, Roadhouse Rolls Wax Melt. So hot, freshly baked bread and cinnamon brown sugar butter. Four to 10. Very cute. <laughs> I love the Mickey heads. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be going next week. Let me take this out of the bag. Super cute. And it looks like it looks like it's a roll with like cinnamon on, dusted on here. It looks like cookie dough. Bread dough. Oh. This is very doughy. This. Hello, puppy. This is, I, I pick up butter. And it's like, it's not, it's, it's like, oh, it's not, it's like, word, Stephanie. So it's like the Hawaiian rolls, like it, it gives me that like soft, doughy Hawaiian rolls, like when they're warmed up, but it also gives me almost like, um, we have a place called Texas Roadhouse and they do these, um, like, um, cinnamon, like honey, honey bread. They're super soft and gooey and that's kind of, well, Roadhouse rolls. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or is there a Texas Roadhouse in Florida? That well, anyways, it, it doesn't matter. That's what this reminds me of. Is like just buttery, with um like like a honey cinnamon, super doughy, fresh from the oven rolls. Um, and then what they do is they put um like a a whipped honey butter on the side. Oh yeah, it, yeasty. You can smell the yeast in here. I like this one a lot too. <laughs> and this is strong. Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to, um, these are going to go upstairs and I will melt these in my room. That way I can see like my, my room's a good indicator, like, cause it's got carpet. I have five, six warmers in there, five in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, um, so I can get a pretty good idea on, you know, how this is going to work in a smaller space. And then from there, then I can decide, okay, how do I make this work in my larger space? What do, do I, obviously I'm going to need more than just this, but it will kind of help me determine. I think I have figured out my warming situation or so. something. All right, next one is County Fair Cinnamon Roll. So warm cream cheese, frosted cinnamon roll. Oh my God. There you go. And it's like a cinnamon roll. I mean, I'm not mad at it. In the least. Oh, and there's like little glitters. I love glitter. You guys, look how pretty. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this smells a little... I'm picking up the cinnamon. Man, when I first smelled it, it was almost like a light... Like a light... Not necessarily bakery. But now that it's in the air, it's absolutely cinnamony. This is more yeasty, doughy, buttery with a little bit of cinnamon. This is very cinnamony. And doughy. I can't say I'm picking up like icing or frosting. But that's not to say on warm, it's like I'm not going to, on warm, I think that cream cheese is going to come out. But if you don't like cinnamon or spice, this is not a red hot cinnamon, but it's very cinnamony. But I also don't mind a heavy cinnamon, especially this is like a baked, a bakery cinnamon, um, bake. This is not a red hot cinnamon. This is cinnamon that you are, you just powdered your dough for your cinnamon roll is what that is. This is fantastic. Um, County Fair cinnamon roll. I am, that's fantastic. I want a cinnamon roll right now. I mean, I love a good cinnamon roll. I need to make cinnamon rolls. That's what I need to do. Make cinnamon rolls, but you know. Um, cardamom and vetiver. So top notes of bergamot, middle notes of spicy cardamom, and bottom notes of amber. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be a perfumey, not, not heavy, but this is not... Gourmandy, maybe a little fresh. What? This reminds me of a perfume that I have. What does this remind me of? This reminds me of a perfume I have, you guys. What perfume is this? I love this. This is uh, kind of on the sweet side. I know it's a spicy. What is this? This is what magic is this? Bergamot, spicy cardamom, and amber. What is this giving me? Oh my gosh, this is going to drive me freaking nuts. This is going to drive me nuts. That, this is going to drive me nuts. And uh, you guys, her wax is a little hard. So just know that this is not like a super soft, um, like a second in spruce. It's a little harder. What am I getting? This is driving me nuts. I have smelt this before. This is almost... This is kind of giving me a little because of the cardamom and the amber, but it's kind of giving me a little bit of Baccarat, but also love don't be shy. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. I would melt this everywhere in my house. This is really very feminine. Very feminine. A beautiful, perfumey, sweet. Um, wow. Whoa. What? Bergamot. Spicy cardamom. So, I'm not getting a whole lot of spice. Granted, this is on cold, you guys. But it's also, oh, you know what? So I have a perfume 
that's called Fire at Will. No, Love and Crime. Love and... No. It's giving me perfume vibes, you guys. And I have a few perfumes that are like... Let's scratch, let's scratch the Baccarat. But there's a sweetness to it. So yes, a little bit of love, don't be shy vibes. But um, there's Zerjoff. It's called Libra that I have that has like a bergamot lemony and then um love and crime which is also like a lemony bergamot but with some sweetness to it oh this is so pretty i would melt this everywhere i would melt this everywhere and i am so i'm this might be what i melt tonight because i'm so freaking intrigued i am so intrigued with this and Squiggles are all over my shirt. Um, cardamom and vetiver. Very pretty. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Okay. Oh my God. This is called Tipsy Monkeys. This is Merlot and Monkey Farts. Have no idea what Monkey Farts is, but you had me at Merlot and Monkey. And tipsy and it's a beautiful green Mickey head this is sweet I feel like I'm picking up some pineapple Merlot and pineapple what I'm not picking up the Merlot right now on cold I'm picking up like cotton candy, pineapple, something very, very sweet. But there's a creaminess in there. Maybe, maybe frosting, maybe whipped cream, maybe um, vanilla batter. Not batter. It's not a vanilla batter. Wow, that's real. I don't pick up the Merlot. But there's absolutely a, um, a red... A red fruit vibe in here but very sweet this is strong too wow so so intrigued Merlot and monkey farts tipsy monkeys is the name pineapple strawberry sweeter than that Wow that's that's fun. Kelly. What a fun box. Tipsy monkeys. I okay, so I'm intrigued to know what monkey farts is and like what I'm not picking up a Merlot. I'm not picking up a wine, a heavy red wine type of vibe at all. Um, once again, that's not to say that when I warm it up, it's not going to come out. So I'm really intrigued with that because I am, I feel like I'm picking up, hold on, tipsy monkeys, am I picking up banana? There's a tropical pineapple-y vibe, but where does the Merlot come in? I'm nervous and I'm intrigued. <laughs> nervous and intrigued. Very cool. All right. Next one is strawberry cornbread. So warm cornbread and sweet strawberry bread. Whoa. Strawberry and cornbread. So let's pretend that you're making cornbread. I can't say that I'm picking up like a strawberry bread. 
but I'm absolutely picking up strawberry and it's almost giving me like that freeze dried strawberry vibe. But I'm also picking up the cornbread. So it's almost as if you're making like a cornbread dessert, like a cornbread strawberry dessert. Let's just pretend you have some cornbread and you're putting cut up strawberries on there. Is that a thing? Could we make that a thing? Should it be a thing? Wow. That is so hot. I feel like Owen Wilson right now. Wow. Warm cornbread and sweet strawberry bread. There's absolutely a, a, a bready note, but I like I feel like that I'm getting that just from the cornbread. And but I am picking up strawberries. And it's almost it is almost like a like freeze-dried strawberries. You know how you have like that 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 powdery, sweet strawberry. It's, I like it. Wow. I like this one. Okay, I mean, I could just sit here and smell it. And I just keep saying the same things over and over again. Wow. I mean... Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Banana cream lemon pound cake. So rich lemon pound cake, vanilla wafer cookies, and creamy banana pudding. Mmm. Okay, not at all is that what I was expecting. I'm going to let this sit. Cause that lemon, that lemon like punched me in the face and that's all I was getting. And it was giving me more cleaner than pound cake. So I got to give my nose a little bit of a minute. Okay, so I'm not picking up a banana. On cold, I'm not picking up a banana. I'm picking up a lot, a lot of lemon. And it's not like a lemon pound cake. This lemon is like a very, very, it's almost like, you know, when you do the lemon meringue pie and you just have that layer of that, the tart lemon center that's what I'm getting I'm and I'm not picking up anything else it's a it's a lot of lemon however once again we say it all the time in the wax world you got to warm it up because you never um, you never know what it's going to be on unwarm a lot of us have learned lessons. I am I mean, this is, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to, this is not what I'm going to melt right away. I really enjoy my lemons like when it's warmer out. We're still like in the, like, yeah, the past couple days we're like been in the high 60s, but it's getting back down in the 50s. We're supposed to get rain again. So this like this is gonna be in the hot in like spring summer. I'm gonna make sure that um, I keep that out for that because I'm intrigued to see how that's gonna smell as it um, as it cures a little bit more. Okay, next one we have a little shell. This is strawberry cardamom cake. So fresh picked strawberries, rich white cake, cardamom spice, and herbal vetiver. I'm loving the, these different blends, you guys. Like, these are unique. These are different. And I, I enjoy that. And it's 
beautiful little clam. Reminds me of Ariel. Ooh, this smells like a strawberry drink. Like a fresh strawberry drink. The vetiver, the herbal vetiver makes it very much an adult, um, unique strawberry adult drink. Um, I like this. Like, you know, you like you get this beautiful drink with, I keep saying that, like this, the strawberries are fresh, they're freshly pureed or muddled, um, Maybe there's like really pretty, f like a floral or herbally or, or de not design, but like an added element on top of your drink to number one, add to the flavor, but also, um, add to the ambiance of the drink. It's, it's just a bougie, a very, a beautiful bougie strawberry an herbal vetiver. That's a, that's unique. I'm not, I can't say I pick up white cake, but that white cake might be in there to kind of marry the strawberry and the herbal vetiver. Like that might be what's giving it this, um, like this vibe for me. <clears throat> that's not to say if someone smells it, they're not going to smell white cake. For me, I don't smell white cake. But I do, I, I do feel like there's something hold, like keeping the vetiver next to it and keeping the strawberry next to it. And that's probably the white cake. It's so pretty. This is really pretty refreshing. Um, I, it's not going to be over. This is not overly sweet. Yes, it's fresh picked strawberries, but like I said, it's like muddled strawberry and it's in the drink. So it's not crazy strawberry but then that herbaliness like this one I would put in every single one of my warmers on cold but it could like this could it could be too much strawberry if you put it in every single warmer depending on how many warmers you have but that herbal vetiver that is quite a unique blend. Strawberry cardamom cake. I mean, why not? All right, next one, we have three more. This one is butter rum sweet tobacco. Butter rum, vanilla tobacco, and a touch of marshmallow fireside. Also in this really fun clamshell I have a feeling, because she's in Florida, Deltona, Florida. I wonder how close that is to Disney World. Because she's got, like, little, these little glitters. <laughs> I love glitter. So fun. Very cute. Oh, yeah. Tobacco vanilla vibes, jazz club vibes. Oh. Mm, speakeasy. Uh, yeah. This is on the softer, it's not overpowering. Like, this is not punching me in the face, which I truly appreciate. Because. Well, I, I do love the tobacco vanilla speakeasy jazz club. Um, and not all of those can be, well, they could sparingly melt downstairs in my living room, my open area concept. Oh, but now that I'm smelling this, I feel like it's getting stronger. So I was just going to say like, this is one I could put in all my warmers and melt downstairs. I'm going to melt these down. Like I sometimes am in the mood for something dark and, and 
<laughs> speakeasy. I don't know. Like these get like the rum, the tobacco, the fireside. It's just right up my alley. That tobacco, the vanilla tobacco, spot on. Beautiful. It's a it this is so pretty. And the butter rum adds this really fun touch of sweetness. So um, once again, also unique with the buttered rum in here. Um, I really like this one a lot. Okay, well done. Well done. So far, you guys, and these smell pretty potent. These smell pretty strong. So I have very high hopes. Very, very high hopes. Um, so I will definitely be reaching out to her. Um, like, hold on. You've got two more in here. Let, let's finish sniffing these and then let's discuss, shall we? Um, next one, I've got a waffle. This is um, County Fair Iced Cinnamon Buns. So warm, freshly baked cinnamon buns and rich cream cheese frosting. That one's County Fair Cinnamon Roll, County Fair Iced Cinnamon Buns. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe just how, how much of what. Because this is warm cream cheese frosted cinnamon rolls, warm cinnamon buns, and cream cheese frosting. But it's a cute shape. Ugh. Oh. oh, this is... Yeah. Ooh. That's, I feel like I picked up like a bourbon maple <laughs> and I was just, but I'm like, slow your roll girl. Cause those, those are not in the notes. I feel like I'm picking up a bourbon maple. Warm, freshly baked cinnamon buns and rich cream cheese frosting. There's got to be a bourbon maple in here. Because that's all. I'm not smelling cream cheese. I'm, I'm smelling like a slight cinnamon buns. But I feel like I literally have stuck my nose in a bourbon maple. I mean, I like it. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I don't pick up anything that's in here, but I do pick up a bourbon maple, so that's a win. That's a win for me. All right, last one is this cute little bag of bag of shapes. This is strawberry pretzel salad. So street street sweet strawberry cookies salty hard pretzels and strawberry buttercream and this is seven ounces oh we got all kinds of cute shapes in here <laughs> oh, look how cute that is little little cake bite and then all the little strawberries very cute Stick my nose in here. Ooh, you know what? This is Costco sells those strawberry, the yogurt strawberry covered pretzels, and that's kind of what I'm. I do pick up the pretzel in here and the strawberries. Ugh. Wow, uh, I, you guys, I. I'm really intrigued to see how these melt and how they work. They're, they're strong. This is, this is, this is like that bag of the yogurt covered strawberries, strawberry yogurt covered pretzels that, um, I, I just saw them at Costco and 
I walked past him a few times and I put it on my cart and put it in my cart and then I took it out of my cart and I and I left it out of my cart but I might regret that this is making me regret that because I love those things oh my gosh so this is absolute it's strawberry um, you pick up that salted pretzel and it is a crusty it, it is that salted pretzel and all these shapes in here super cute so strawberry pretzel salad or as Spongebob says salad okay so let's discuss you guys um, I was really nervous about doing this um, you know because she asked me to review it and um, I asked her I said do you want me to um, video me video the review or do you just want me to review it because I'm going to be honest with how these are going I'm not going to sugarcoat it I'm not going to lie about how I feel about them so I'm just letting you know how do you want me to proceed <laughs> with this box and she wanted um she wanted it on youtube and she wanted my honest review and you guys i am so thankful <laughs> so thankful that these are really freaking nice i am like i said the only thing that doesn't smell like it says is this thing um but i it smells like a bourbon maple so i'm okay with that um, I'll melt it anyways. I might actually just do these two together, the cinnamon buns and this one, because, well, you know, let's, <laughs> why not? Let's just open these up. Let's take a little snipperoo. Or coffee? Am I picking up coffee? I feel like there's a maple bourbon coffee vibe in here. Yeah, I would, I will, um, what am I going to do tomorrow morning? I might cut these up tomorrow. I might cut these up and melt these in my living room, dining room tomorrow and see how that goes. Or I might just do it here because I have more video, I have videos to film and I have videos to up edit and upload that has to get done. So maybe because this room's smaller, but it is hardwood, um, I will get a good idea on, on these, but I am pleasantly surprised that uh, you guys, I have nothing negative to say right now. Um, these shapes are cute. The blends are really fun, and some of them are, you know, we all know Roadhouse Rolls, but this smells really good. Um, lavender root beer. I don't know if I recall anyone making a lavender root beer wax, but number one, I don't pay attention to lavender because that's not in my wheelhouse. So, scared about this, but intrigued. Um... I don't know which one I'm going to melt tonight. I This one might be too strong in my room for tonight. Um, so I think I'm going to do that cardamom and vetiver, the perfume, the perfume one. That one, I think I will chop up and melt tonight. Um, but super cute. I don't know, um, you guys, I don't have a price on how much a box like this would cost. And I don't know if um like if she would if you get to choose or if this is just a fun sampler and then you can go back i have i have no clue all i know is that she want she wanted to send this out and get my opinion on it and um i i think that's a fun idea because you guys i'm smelling stuff i normally wouldn't pick but it's safe um I just, this is super fun, super fun. And, um, I will be going on Kelly's Etsy shop to look and see what she has. Um, I suggest you guys go on there and look and see what she has. And then, 
Um, follow her on her, um, just had all the right here in front of my face. Um, we're going to follow her on her Instagram and Facebook. She also has a TikTok, so we're going to follow her on TikTok. And um, as she gets closer to opening, like she said, she was hoping for March 1st. So I'm glad I'm getting this out before then. Um, I, You guys, this is phenomenal. And um, I'm all down for um, supporting a small business. This is super fun. Thank you so much, Kel. I am so freaking honored that you wanted my that you trust my opinion enough you wanted my opinion and I am I'm floored I'm honored thank you thank you thank you so much for sending this amazing oh my god I'm gonna cry I'm not gonna cry um thank you thank you um so freaking sweet and um it's I mean, it's, it's home fragrance and we love home fragrance and all these smells are just, they're so fun and I am excited to warm these. So, um, I will leave her information in the, um, in the description box. Please go show her some love on her Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and, um, please go to her Etsy shop and support her. Um, once again, I don't know how much the box is going to be. I don't know what her, um, what the price point is. This was just a beautiful gift from, um, I, wow. Okay. Um, that's all I got. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, you guys, to my new subscribers, holy moly, thank you so much. Um, thank you. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. This is so much fun. I don't upload as much as I want. Um, part of that is because... Um, I do kind of get burnt out and I don't ever want to get burnt out with what I love. And so, um, like when, when Mike comes home, I really want to dedicate as much time to him when he's home and just soak in the togetherness. And, um, sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but you know, if I take some time off, it's because I'm working and then taking my daughter to work and then hubby's home and I just want to soak up all of that. So, um, but you guys, I'm just floored by, by the subscribers and the kindness and the friendship. So I just thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. So, okay. I'm done rambling. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.